Within BidFood Direct, you have access to previous invoices and credits, live order statuses, previous purchases, and report exports via the Accounts tab. You can review previous invoice and credits here, and you can set a date range you'd like to search in between. If you have multiple accounts, select which account you'd like to see invoice and credits for, or you can click view all and then click search. Invoice and credits can be downloaded as PDF or exported into Excel by selecting the box next to each invoice and credit that you wish to download. You can create report exports, which are emailed to you automatically on a predefined schedule. These are great for keeping an eye on the previous week's spend. To set up these reports, just go to Report Exports. A report can include just invoices, just credits, or invoices and credits. Give the report a name. We've named it Daily Invoices and Credits. Select the report you would like from the drop-down and click New Reports. From here, you can select what information you would like to be included on this report. For this example, we've selected the account code, account name, invoice number, and the value. You can add more in-depth information by including the product code, description, and quantity, for example. Once you've selected all of the information that you require, click continue. You can choose if you would like the report to be sorted into a specific order, or you can leave it as the default setting. Enter the email address of where the report needs to be emailed to, Select the file type, such as Excel or CSV. Select how often you want to receive the report. This can be set up as daily, monthly, weekly, or on request. In the intervals section, if you're wanting to receive the report daily, you would enter one, so you'd receive it every one day. Monthly would be 31, receiving the report every 31 days, and weekly would be seven, so you receive the report every seven days. If your business has multiple accounts, you can also set up reports for all of the units within your business. Tick the Include Child Accounts box and select which accounts you'd like to be included on the report from the drop-down. Insert the start date of when you would like the reporting to start and in the number of days previous box, enter the number of previous days that you want your report to show. For example, 31 if the report is monthly or seven for a weekly report. Click Finish. You also have easy access to all previous purchases. Go to the Previous Purchases tab and this will quickly load all of the previous purchases based on the date range that you set. And this information can be exported to Excel.